What is going on everybody? Prof Jeffs here and welcome back to our Escape from Tarkov Let's Play series. Uh, in this episode we are going to uh, head back to customs, try to get that survive for BP Depot, and also try to do Tiger Safari, which is our new uh, Peacekeeper quest. Uh, we're all, But before we do that, I'm just going to hop into a quick scav, do this on Factory. I should be trying to utilize my scav more in between raids, especially when we do end up dying. Just to get our scav rep going. Uh, so that way we can spawn with like labs key cards and stuff. And maybe we can start playing labs. Uh, I haven't played a lot of labs at all really. Um, pretty much yeah, non-existent. I've done a few raids on the map. but uh, So it would be probably a pretty interesting learning experience. If we were to learn the map together. So yeah we should be able to get a lot better gear as well. Maybe some loadouts and stuff. But we do need to get our scav rep around like I think it's around 3 uh fence rep when you uh start getting some good stuff so and we're at like 0. 0.7 or points yeah 0. 0.7 something like that so we should try to utilize our scav uh taking car extracts and stuff does help a lot like i think i mentioned that in a previous episodes so we should be trying to do more of those and also if we can get some sort of like pmc scav extracts going uh we could try that as well but those are a little risky so you do have to be a little careful but either way, I will see you guys in there. Okay, that wasn't much time at all. Ooh, 50k rubles. Grenade, a bandage. Okay. Hello there. Gold neck. Or that could have been just a regular scav looting that. I always forget they do that now. See if the meds were hit over here. There's no bag. Looks like this was hit. We're kind of just trying to grab whatever we can now. Hello there, sir. Hello. How is it going? It's going all right. How about yourself? Oh, you know, I had a bit of a rough morning on customs, but so far so good. Yeah, customs has not been good to me. Yeah. I actually need these alkalines for a quest. Okay. Let's just get out. We got a bit of stuff. I don't really want to be doing a scav for too long. It's just kind of nice to, like I said, increase your scav rep a little bit uh, and supplement a little bit of income. Like I was telling that guy in the last episode, we did die a lot on customs. It was very unfortunate. And we are losing money. However, I haven't sold really anything from the last episode yet. So there is that as well. Uh, we probably will make a decent bit of money when we do, but either way, it's all good. So, the first order of business. We were not given any sort of, um, any sort of, uh, what do you call it, uh, markers for our Tiger Safari quest, so we will have to purchase them, um, I can't remember who exactly you buy them from. If you buy them, I think you buy them from Prapper. Um, but, so we shall go to Prapper. You can click this special icon here, and yeah, see, so we need three of those. 
The nice thing is they added this special slot, so we can do that. We have our director's office key. Let's just check if we have any other quests on customs. You can sort them by there. So we need, do need two more scav kills. We just need to survive, get the graphics card, and tiger safari. So other than that, we're pretty pretty good. Um, but yeah, we do have that. We need some more heals. Um, we did kind of use up all our heals in the last episode, trying to get out of that last shoreline raid. But I'm super happy that the way that turned out, because that was pretty pretty great. Um, the fact we were able to get out alive and get our item down without dying beautiful you know so yeah we'd only have one cms left that is rather unfortunate but i'm just gonna risk it uh we'll go into customs try to get tiger safari done and hopefully we can survive the raid as well okay let's do this i do really like these uh marker quests they're usually pretty chill the the only like dangerous part is uh is when you're actually placing the marker you really don't want to die because then you have to do it over again and you lose the marker for the most part it's pretty chill gotta be careful of a guy spawning to the left is that a scab there in front no First one's just right here. This this van here. I think that dude just sprinted towards custom or er, dorms. We will just chill in this bush here. Wait it out. Again, the worst thing you can do is die while your marker's being placed. And then we can kind of just get to the other side of the map. The other two are by old gas, or new gas, sorry, which is along the street. Um, but yeah, that should be good. We're good to go. We do need one more scav kill, so this could be good for us. Depending on where he is. Where is he? Dynamite. My aim's actually been really bad lately. I don't know why. At least my full auto aim. Let's just try to get to old or er, new gas. We can uh, pass through there and possibly get some more items down. Definitely somebody else here. That's not who I heard though. There was definitely either a player or a scab on the other side of the bus depot, too.
ultra med spawn key spawns on the in there. It's a key for uh, interchange. It's one of our Tashankas we need. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. This is a par fairly risky one. The one's there and the one's there, so... Pretty risky one to do. be good let's try to get the other one and then let's just try to get out Just chill here and then we'll go for it. Could do a bit of looting, but like I said, I just want to get out this raid. We need to survive for two quests now, so. I don't know if I killed that guy. Hit him. And I love it when random numbers call me. Usually it's like you pick up one of these spam phone calls and you get a ton of them, but like I don't think I've picked one up recently and I've, I get like two a day. It's actually awful. I rarely pick up the phone, the number. It's like just a number. If you're not in my contacts, I'm sorry, but uh, leave a message and I'll get back to you. I think I killed that scab at the end. Uh, no, I didn't. I just heard him a little bit. But two quests done. Tiger Safari and BP Depot. Cause, and BP Depot is the one we really want done because we got to go back customs again for that quest. For the next quest. But I think that should be the last of like this main series customs quest. And then we should unlock... Um, we should unlock Punisher quest. Sorry, but I was blanking for some reason. We need the portable bunkhouse key. And we finished a uh, Holcomb Hobo, which doesn't lead anywhere, but it's some XP and some rewards. So that's always nice. The bunker, which is a reserve quest, bad rep evidence. So we need the bunkhouse key, which we can go to the flea and we can buy that bunk. Uh, 
Portable bunkhouse key. Okay. And that was sold. 200k. We did get a small Tashanka too. We can hand that into Therapist. Again, most of these quests for Therapist don't really lead anywhere. But they're, again, just nice XP. Give us some rewards and some income. Uh, we got Tiger Safari done. I think Scrap Metal is back to Shoreline. Yeah, we got to mark stuff on Shoreline. So we will hold off on that. Um, actually, before... Eh, I guess we could do Gunsmith Part 2 after this raid. Because... Before we go to Shoreline again, we need to do Gunsmith Part 2 so we can unlock a quest called Signal. Uh, Signal, you need to go to two places on Shoreline. Uh, I can talk more about that when we actually get the quest. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a super important quest. Or is it important? Does it lead? Yeah, it's, a, it's its own quest line. So yeah, it is fairly important. Um, but it is a bit of a tricky quest because you have to do them. You have to go to the locations and survive all in the same battle. Raid, battle, whatever. Um, which can be a little tricky because one of them is on top of the resort. Uh, which is usually a highly contested area on Shoreline. So, oh, I thought I filled all the mags, but we need eight more bullets. Okay. And we should, this time, we should bring some money for car. Just in case. So, we need to run it back customs. Let's repair this just because we can, even though it'd probably damage it more a little bit. But uh, we're leveling up our durability, or our repair skill, which is pretty, pretty important. Like I said, you can get, like, modded out guns at some point, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we gotta head back. We gotta get our um, bad ref ev evidence. We have the key. So, um, we can just go to customs and try to get that done. It's a bit of an annoying quest, but again, we can just hopefully just pump it out. Sweet out, let's go. Okay. Interesting spawn, but we can just chill, take it slow, and this is actually a pretty good spawn to, uh, do what we want to do this raid. We should be able to get, as long as we don't die, obviously, we should be able to get both bad rep evidence and uh, our farming quest done. Machinery key, we don't need that. Chainlet, though, that's for our daily. ERS. Yuck. Disgusting. PRS. This raid is popping off. Somebody just ran over there. I, I just soiled my pants.
Well, that's unfortunate. This raid is crazy. Well, let's just keep moving. Somebody's been through there. Probably that player I just heard in old gas. Someone's here. this raid. How many people are on this map? We need to go up there. I don't remember exactly where the item is too. Okay, it's right here. Keep moving. Now the question is, do I want to get out with this item? I would say yes. Just because, again, we don't really have any of our GPUs for the graphics card quest. Makes no difference. So let's just go dip. And we want to get on Punisher. Get out. Oh, BS. Damn, okay. <laughs> that was, I'm glad I looted that crate. BS is, again, like, 
other than Egolnik, it is the best ammo you can get in an 545 AK. But I'm also happy about the wins. Those scavs made sure we didn't even get a run through too, which is super nice. I doubt we would have anyway, but yeah, it was already seven minutes anyways, but. Oh, and we did kill the scav at the start of the raid anyways, so what am I talking about? Run through. Either way, again, good progress. We made some money. Um, and I am done with the customs quests. At least for now. I don't think we'll have to run customs for a bit. At least until we get Punisher Part 2, which is kill scavs on customs. Which is, again, one of the reasons I wasn't worried, because we're probably going to be running customs a bunch. Uh... When we do that, I don't know how many raids it will take. There's usually a lot of scavs now, so it might be a little easier. But um, we can get our um, graphics card case thing when we do that. But Dump. And in bad ref evidence, ice cream cones. So... This quest is a bit of a pain. However, as you see, I am done it. Um, I crafted these when I crafted the morphines because I knew this was coming up. Um, you need to have laboratory level two to craft the 60 round mags. But again, if you can get that, it's super useful because this is a, this is usually one of the cock block quests that like you can't... Um, like, you kind of get stuck on for a bit if you don't have the stuff. So, yeah, you need to make these 60-round mags. Anything you craft is found in Raid, which is super nice. So, you need three Keck tapes, pretty much. And you can just buy these. If you're level 15, uh, you can just buy the Keck tapes off the flea. They're not overly expensive for what they are. But, yeah, we can just go hand in our ice cream cones. And there we go. Now, shaking... Oh, shoot. I guess we are not on Punisher. We have one more quest on Customs, which is Shaking Up Teller, which we need Dorms 203 key, which I know I have. Um, Dorms 203 key. Okay, well then we'll just gear up and we will run it back. That's the annoying thing about a lot of these quests, is like you just have to keep running it back Customs. Um, because you complete one and then it sends you back. And it's like, okay. Uh, but yeah, we are starting to get a little cramped on space. Ah, uh, not not overly, actually. It's just we're, we're not very organized right now. It's actually the, the truth of the matter. Um, which, which is fine. Because usually I like to just do like my organizing stuff in between uh, episodes or, you know when I get a second. Um, but we can just throw some of this ammo in here. We are starting to build up a good supply of stuff. We have this AKM for when we go do uh, Punisher Part 1. Uh, we can sell this. We can just do a, a quick, a quick little sell. Um, therapist, we got our Bitcoin, Get rid of some Apollos, Wilston's ENT, okay, so yeah, that's a bit of selling, we're, you know, making money now, super happy, we got a grenade, um, but yeah, let's, again, just run it back customs. We need dorms 203, grab an item, we have money for car, and if we can, we will try to get our, uh, graphics card case, but again, we're not really worrying as much about that as we are with completing Prapper's Quest, so. Okay, we're having a good run so far, it's probably gonna end here, but, I mean, confidence is also key, so let's get this. Okay. Yeah, decent spawn. It's 
so this is the last quest we need to do before we get the Punisher quests. Um, so yeah, that is pretty, pretty nice. Once we do that, we can start our shoreline grind. And yeah, and then we can also start doing the Peacekeeper quest, because that's the other major shoreline quest lines. But yeah, super happy about our progress so far. Is that dorms? Sounded close, but it definitely sounded muffled like it was inside. And it was definitely a guy with a pistol. Unless that was the scab with the pistol. But we're not going. That's not our raid. We're going to go three story, try to get in, get our item. And then keep moving. Problem with this is going to be getting out. My guy was on the same quest I was. Or one of them was, I guess. This is a huge raid. If campfire's up, we'll take it. Okay, let's get out. We're done with customs for now. Let's go. I am done with customs for now. It's hard when people are facing your back with bat or like fa having their back to you with bad ammo because you need to be able to go through either their helmet or their armor or unless you get the head lower nape shot, which is like a 
weird a weird shot but did i end up yeah i killed him with the thorax i just like shredded through his armor because it was only a class three if he had class four armor he probably would have lived there it would have been a lot harder for me but thankfully he did not so Let's go ahead and our quest and then I kind of need to I want to check how long this video has been going for because they've been kind of short raids but I don't know I feel like we've done a, a bunch we got tiger safari done BP depot that one then we did the portable bunkhouse one and now we've done this raid so Punisher part one. Okay. Wow. What a, what a crazy, crazy day. And we got a lot of backpacks, which is actually huge. We were starting to run low on those. So that is very nice. Um, grab these. And yeah, I will be back in a second. Okay, yeah, it's definitely been a decent enough time, but... Uh, like I've been saying, I do want to try to do a little more scav run. So uh, we'll end off this episode just with a cheeky little quick scav run on factory again. See what we can get. Okay, we are in. We got the double barrel gang again. Okay. Let's see what's going on in this raid. There's a player. Wait, that was a scav? Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Okay, let's just get out of here now. Some player scab tried to jump me. <coughs> Bruh, I, I swear, if I lose rep for that, I'm going to be so sad. Because I'm, I am I don't know if it's hit. I think they have to kill somebody to be considered a traitor. But I honestly don't know. My armor saved me there. Oh, no, I did. Oh, sweet. We got extra XP for killing that traitor. I don't... The problem is I don't... I still don't know if he was a traitor before I went into that raid. Or if he actually just, um... If it was for shooting me. Because the scabs were yelling at someone. So I'm assuming it was that guy. He probably just killed, killed the scab to try to get some stuff. But I'm, I can't really say for certain. It's possible that it was just because he shot me. But for some reason, I think, like... I don't know. I have this, like, hunch that, like, shooting people doesn't actually make you a traitor. It's only if you kill. Uh, I guess that wouldn't... Depends, I guess. I don't know. If you shoot a scab, they get mad at you, so... Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, uh, I got a lot of stash... Stash maintenance to do in between, uh, this episode and the next. So, uh, he did have an extra gun, too, so I think he did kill somebody, but... Yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. really supports the channel. Also, if you are new, make sure to subscribe down below. Supports the channel in an entirely different way. And you get notified every time I do post a video. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.